will lead the city of Raleigh moving forward. The seat for mayor is up for grabs this election. And you know, it's an important race, but with so much focus on who's running for president or governor, the mayor doesn't get a ton of attention. But you know, election day is less than two weeks away. I feel that way too. So we're trying to help you get to know the candidates vying to lead North Carolina's capital city. Last night we talked about affordable housing. Tonight, public safety. Aggravated assaults, robberies, and firearm thefts from vehicles are all down in Raleigh, but a WRAL report in July also showed vandalism, car thefts, sex offenses, human trafficking, and stolen property are at a 10-year high. All five candidates have public safety on their campaign platform. And in our interviews, they all said that they wanted higher salaries for police. In this year's budget, police officers and firefighters got a 5% pay increase with a possible 5% extra for good performance. Still, Raleigh lags behind several surrounding communities. Janet Cowell doesn't get specific about what she'll do for police, but she acknowledges public safety staff do not have adequate resources. We have a lower ratio of police per population than many other cities. Uh, maybe that speaks to the fact that Raleigh has been a, a safe place to live. But as we grow, yeah. um, you know, continuing to have a really thinly staffed uh, police and public safety staff is not ideal. Eugene Myrick proposes something he learned about while living in New York City. It's called Officer Next Door. Have you heard of it? The program helps officers with the cost of buying a house, including down payments. Myrick believes this could attract and keep law enforcement officers here. The salary is one thing, but if I can help you afford a down payment, as well as um, some funds to improve the home so the way you want it, that may be an incentive. So you may only start with 55000 but this type of incentive may be enough to say, okay, this is something that will make me want to stay on the uh, Raleigh Police Force. The two candidates who are very open and specific about wanting more officers and police personnel are Paul Fitz and James Shaughnessy. Shaughnessy believes the department is short about 1,000 personnel. Fitz wants to add 400 police officers. We're short about 1,000 personnel, not officers, but like 1,000 officers and civilian uh, people, uh, you know. Personnel. So civilian personnel inside yeah. the department in order to help with other things. You've got a lot of cities throughout the entire nation who have decided to defund their police departments and then so Police officers are leaving those police departments. I think it can be an incentive for them to come here as long as they know that we can pay them to be here and work for us. Terrence Ruth agrees Raleigh does need to be more competitive to attract and keep officers, but he thinks we first need to start talking about community-based crime prevention. He wants to tap into the city's vibrant academic and tech scene to help with that. Here we have some of the best tech firms here. Why don't we unleash our community to design, create, beta test solutions to safety, prevention to safety, and let's be known for our ability to beta test, to create, to innovate, not just because innovative companies are here, but because the citizens themselves are actually creating the solutions we need in our city. So to round this all up, all the candidates here think that police officers need better pay. Some prioritize this more than others and have additional ideas to improve public safety. To watch my full interview with each candidate, go to WRAL.com or the WRAL YouTube page. Tomorrow, we talk about revitalizing downtown, how to develop, where to develop, bringing more people into the city without erasing history. Part three of our Down the Ballot Breakdown is tomorrow night, right here at 7 o'clock.